Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabir. Hope you're all good. Really excited about this video because we're looking at the Horizon Devices Precision Drive. This is a long-awaited, eagerly anticipated pedal and this is brought to you by the one and only Misha Mansour from Periphery and his team of dudes that have really worked stupidly hard on this pedal to bring something out to the market that I suppose caters for anyone that's into heavy metal, uh, progressive metal. The basic premise behind the pedal is that a lot of dudes that play metal actually use uh, traditional style Tube Screamer pedals, you know, like a TS-808 or a Maxon OD-8 or OD-9. And the reason that they do that is so that it sort of shelves the low end, tightens everything up a little bit, adds a bit more mid-range and gives you a bit more chord definition. And this actually proved really useful in, you know, like progressive metal genres. And so it became a mainstay for most dudes that had that kind of tone. So I think what Misha and co have tried to do here is bring out a pedal that's a sort of revamp of those original style pedals that a lot of the progressive metal guys use. Although it is that sort of Tube Screamer style pedal, it has some really modern features that definitely sort you out if you're into this kind of music. As you can see from the close-up cam, it's a really simple layout. From left to right, you've got attack, volume, bright, and drive. And then you've also got the gate control, as this pedal has a built-in noise gate, which is the sort of blue LED in the middle that you can see. That's actually a, a dial that you can change. It's really important to know how this pedal works before you plug it in. So the attack knob is a five-way uh, switch, which essentially changes the attack of the drive itself. So all the way to the left, it's got lots more low end, it's good for that doomier sort of metal sound, quite sludgy almost. And as you bring it across to the right, it starts to tighten the bass up, starts to tighten that low end right up, add some more mid range, a bit more clarity for the chord definition. And then finally, all the way to the right is your really tight, really precise sounding uh, attack. Uh, and that is really useful if you're doing a lot of the tight, palm muted, genty sort of rhythms and stuff like that. The volume knob is really important to take notice of because at around six, it's where 10 would be on a normal Tube Screamer device. So you've got all that extra headroom to push the front end. But it's not really about pushing that front end at, you know, by turning this pedal all the way up to max. It's about finding the sweet spot and, uh, and having enough headroom to mess around depending on what you're trying to record. The bright knob is tuned so that it gives you a lot of clarity and a precise high end. And finally, the drive knob. So this is really important because the drive is there to blend with your high gain signal if you're doing lead and you want to smoothen things out a little bit, you know, get a bit more sustain, but really it's not there to give you your entire tone. So what I've actually found and I've seen online with all the other guys that are using it is when you've got your high gain tone, you want the drive right down, you know, just a little bit in, just for taste really, but when you're doing leads, you can, you can boost it and get smoother, more saturated lead tones. For this demo, I'm going to be using my uh, first prototype of my baritone with a bare knuckle aftermath in the bridge. That's going into the precision drive, then out into a VX Kraken on gain two, uh, straight into my two notes torpedo studio, and then out into my uh, universal audio Apollo 8P interface. Something else that I've done is I've set up a Mesa Dual Rec profile with my Kemper, and then we're going to put the precision drive in front of the Kemper to see how it reacts. And the reason I've done that is because this pedal was actually designed to work with Kempers, Axe Effects and so on and so forth. So it should be a great all-rounder and a great addition to your pedal board if you're into modern, heavy, progressive music. So this is the guitar straight into the Kraken. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's, it's a really good sound. It's nice and thick and full of power. However, when we put the precision drive in, it should tighten everything up and you should get even more chord definition and more precision. Sorry for the uh, intended pun there. You can see on the close-up cam, my settings are actually very similar to the recommended settings for the pedal, which are actually Misha's favorite settings. And I suppose because he designed the pedal, uh, it's, it's most likely gonna work on most things. This is without. <laughs> and with.
So I can say that that's definitely tightened things up. There's a lot more clarity. You can hear a lot more chord definition. So I'm gonna mess with the attack knob again. So let's start it all the way over to the left. And this is the kind of sound you'd expect to hear. So it's much, much thicker. It's actually closer to the original tone. I'm gonna AB them. So there's definitely more gain and there's definitely a lot more body when you put the precision drive in with the attack knob to the left. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move across the different uh, positions of the attack knob so you can hear the extremes. So as you can hear, it is a huge difference when we're moving across from the left to the right on the attack knob. And it is, they're all wickedly useful, I must admit. They all have their own qualities that I do enjoy. Particularly when it's all the way over to the right, you do get the really tight. Which I really like, so that's cool. Let's mess around with the gate. So I'm gonna turn the gate all the way off and we'll hear how it works. So you can hear how it's just taking away that hiss, uh, but the speed of it is quite slow. So as we turn it up, it should just actually happen faster. The attack should be much, much faster. Yeah, so it's definitely effective. One thing I do like about it is it's tuned for the pedal, so it's not just your standard gate that they've bunged in the pedal. I actually spent some time over the gate and how it works and reacts with the pedal and also with the settings that you've dialed in. So that is wicked, and I do like it. Probably on full for me personally. If I'm gonna use a pedal like this, I wanna get the most stylistic sort of influence out of the pedal, so therefore I would put it on full and, you know, get a bit jumpy. <laughs> Right, so I've backed down the attack knob. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you an example of what the drive does for lead if we turn it up. So at the moment, the drive is all the way off. <laughs> And now let's push it in a little bit, see what happens. So as you can hear, it's definitely got a lot of gain and I backed off the level a bit so it didn't overload, didn't get too much. But one thing it does do is it, it, it rounds out the top end of the lead sound. Um, and although there's a lot of gain there, it does actually cut through quite nicely. In the room I can really feel it. Um, so that is quite cool. It's really important to bear in mind when you get this pedal that it's not just the kind of pedal that you just bang in front of any amp and you just crank the gain and the volume and it'll sort you out. It's more specific than that. It's, it's designed to be a tool for people that really want to craft their sound. And I say its strength is definitely in that area of rhythm, progressive, heavy, genty kind of, uh, you know, powerful high gain tones. So now we've heard it through a valve amp, I'm going to plug it into the Kemper uh, and using the Mesa Dual Rec sound that I've set up. So let's take a listen. This is the Mesa Dual Rec sound. That it's a Michael Britt profile. Haven't done anything to it, nothing at all. And this is what it sounds like straight in. 
So let's put the precision drive in. I've put the settings back to the recommended or, you know, Misha settings. I've definitely had a lot of fun with this pedal and this pedal demo. So that's probably the end of it because we've tried it with a valve amplifier, we've played around with the different attack settings, we've boosted the gain, we've played with the gate, and we've tried it through a Kemper. So I've given you a great example and put it into context of how you can use this pedal to your advantage. If you want one, make sure you get it pre-ordered as soon as you can. You can get these from Andertons and they're 199. So my verdict is for the style that it's aimed at, it's absolutely perfect. I can't really fault it to be honest. If you like progressive metal, gent, all that kind of stuff, you need one of these pedals. I'm definitely going to try and get hold of one because I do enjoy playing a bit of gent every now and again. Thank you very much Misha and Horizon Devices for creating such a wicked and very usable tool for guys that like progressive metal. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it helped you guys make decisions on whether you're going to get this pedal or not. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you all very soon.